Yeah. I used to date funny guys because I had no idea. And that's like dating multimillionaires. Mm. But I had to be different. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because I wanted different. different. Now I can sit there and say, well, I don't have to change. You should just love me. Well, you'll be broke, still doing four jobs, still doing what you're doing. Because life does not respect your va- your beliefs. Mm. Life is life. You get on board with life. Yes. Or you lose. Yes. Right? And it's in true. life, to win at anything, yeah. to be a world-class in- sports person, you can't show up a little league time. You don't put in little league time or primary school soccer practice to play for Arsenal. Yes, exactly. Right? Yeah. You always, always have to change yourself to yeah. to become what that vibrational frequency is. Yes. Men who are eights, nines, and successful at that on top, because biology is one thing, you're just born that way, but you could be low value. True. Right? But you're at that high vibrational frequency as a man. Yes. You didn't get, you weren't born there. No. Yeah, 100%. You, you, you elevated there. You fought your way there. You sacrificed things there. You, you know, there were some things you had to not do. There, there's some gratification you had to delay. Yes. Right. Very true. Now, I want you, but I don't want to pay the price. Yeah. Stay there. That's my thing. Is yeah. Honestly, this is the most loving thing I'm going to say. Mm. You have every right to be who you are, Mm. stay where you are, believe what you believe, Mm. but understand that's where your right ends. Mm. You don't have a right to force anybody or to compel anybody or guilt trip anyone or damn anyone into choosing you. Yeah. Right. You, you've got every right by all means, stay who you are. Yeah. Clap for yourself. Feel good about your life. Yeah. And if you can make good of what that vibration of life brings. Yes. If you can make good with that, because you look, not everybody wants that. It's true because not everybody wants to pay the price. No. Because maybe the paying that price isn't for them. Yeah. You know, and there's there's pros and cons to being that anyway. Yeah. And being with that kind of man anyway. Yeah. And you're absolutely right. It's funny. It's like, you know, talking about career or something, you know, People think people who are like CEOs, yeah. they think they're just in their big office on the 50th floor with their feet <laughs> yeah. up, just watching the hundreds of thousands yeah. roll in. Yeah. Um, but when actual fact, they work, you know, 60, 70, 80 hour weeks earning that kind of income. And now a lot of people be like, well, yeah, if I was earning that kind of income, I would put, I would work those hours because I'm in that income. And it's like, no, no, no. It doesn't work that way. You have to work those hours now. That's right. To get to that position. Right. Right. Like right. the work comes first. 100%. Before the results. 100%. And I think when it comes to dating yeah. and the, the dating dynamics, the intersexual dynamics between men and women, yeah. at least within the, the Western world, I yeah. think, I think men learn in reality this lesson very early on yes we learn (laughs) very quickly like when we're 20 and we're broke still living at home yeah and you know we really fancy cassandra but she's going out with a 29 year old who owns his own (laughs) place has his own dog drives a nice car got a flourishing career yeah we're like oh wow like if i want this kind of girl i have to get that yeah and i need to do the work to become that yeah so i guess my question is why does it seem that this has to be why some women learn this later in life or why it's a surprise or it's, it's a, it's a shock to learn this part of the process for women. Why do you think that's the case? To be honest, I think women are operating on antiquated views. So, or programs Mm. or scripts you know when I look at the way that I was raised all I had to be was pretty right that that's that's all I had to be to Mm. to find a man get married I had to be pretty yeah and as far as my family were concerned tick Right. right. Same thing with my sisters. Dick, dick, dick. My mom spent a lot of time teaching us how to groom ourselves and all of those things. Mm. And in the world that I was raised in, it was enough for a man. Right. Right. Like I, 
I didn't start dating until much later because we weren't allowed to be <laughs> <laughs> dating. Uh, but in when I did begin dating around 18, uh, men were also scripted differently. You know, you just had to be successful and True. period. Yeah. Yeah. And I think both men and women are struggling at the moment. Yeah. Um, and so for me, being pretty meant I never had to worry about anything. You know, I, I, I remember even with cousins, brothers, any, anywhere a male resided, mm. I could leave the house with no purse, nothing. And yeah. I would be fed, cl clothed, Looked out taken for. care of. No one's going to hurt me. And I'll be dropped off at home in one piece yes. because, you know, it, it meant it was their duty. Yes. You know? Yeah. 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 Um, and you know, they, they were happy to do it and, and, and they got something out of it. And, you know, they got to be with a pretty girl and that was enough status wise, et cetera. But now, you know, and then we taught our kids that the same thing, you know, my mom passed that down cause it kind of worked for her. Mm. Um, and then she taught me that it worked for me. I got married and I was pretty settled and with a decent lifestyle. Yeah. But then when I came out into the dating world, it was a whole different world. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> it was true. like, you know, what, what the hell? What the hell is this? I can't this just happen? be pretty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like I actually have to understand a man's psychology. I actually have to nurture him. Mm. His 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 energy. His he. I need to nurture a man. Yeah. That was very what. Yeah. I didn't even know that a man needed to be complimented too. That he needed to feel. You know that I thought he was amazing, or mm. that a man had needs that even on his looks, mm. you know, he appreciated. I didn't know that yeah, so because true. you know, and and then throughout the years, I realized exactly what I didn't know. And a lot of my clients were like, really, <laughs> you know, that we had no idea what it what it takes for a man to feel compelled to be attracted to you emotionally. Mm. They've got emotions. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <goodness. laughs> what? <laughs> you guys They're have human emotions. beings too? No, <laughs> like, it's a no. lie. It's a lie. They're all dogs. <laughs> they just bark, you know? <laughs> they just and bark and bark, that's it. <laughs> that, that's, that's, all all we, do. that's all you do. That's all we do. And uh, a lot of women, so our mothers didn't know to teach us this. Right. And then my generation raised, you know, we, we 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 took the hit, you know the the mm. the Gen Xs. Mm. We took the hit because we were part of the kind of fruition of feminism, sure. you know. And all of a sudden, we're angry feminists, mm. and we are, you know, uh, we don't understand men, mm. and we're entitled to them, mm. right? We feel this sense of, but I'm pretty, yeah. But, but you should want me. Yeah, I've got a great job. Yeah. I mean. I'm just amazing. Yeah. And, but what do you offer? Yeah. Right. And then, so what happened is men were changing too. Men were like, uh, nah, mm. <laughs> like I, I need something from this encounter. Yeah. And because sex was now something that was liberated, I no longer just, you know, before I'll do it because you're probably the only girl I'm going to be able to get, and, you know, I've got to work this angle because yes. that's how I'm going to secure my sexual stability. Yes. Now we're all feminists. So sex is free. Yeah. So men are like, uh, why am I suffering this again? Yeah. <laughs> like, honestly, I don't even need to do with the, what did the, the young lady tell you? Uh, it's just, you just, I don't look good all the time. Yeah. You know, now men are like, I don't need to deal with this. Yeah. Because I can, I can deal with that. Yeah. You know, and uh, there's no stigma around. Because also, you know, when I was growing up, you can't talk to me without my brother trying to have your head. Like mm. it was going to cost your life yeah, <laughs> to talk yeah, to me, right? Yeah. It there was a protection around the woman. There was yes. this; she was sacred. You know, I was a virgin when I got married. It was standard. Wow! Yeah, yeah. Like wow. that's how I was raised in an African. Yeah. In my mom, Africanness. So even when yes. a woman, a man was going to get you, he would tolerate a lot of things because he's getting like a virgin. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. And I'm I'm not undermining anything because you know I'm not virgin anymore. But the point I'm making is that th the offerings have changed. Sure. You know you're not offering your virgin self to a man yeah. anymore. Uh, you're not offering this naivety and this. It, it's just not an offer. So, but you're still operating on the same principle that I'm the prize like that. Yes. Right. You still have the mindset. Yes. So, 
what happened is we were not taught that the game has changed. Yes. That sex, sexuality in your body is no longer leverage. Yes. It can be, mm. but it has to be attached to so many other things. Other things. It's right? so true. But it's no longer, you know, I keep hearing it all the time. Oh, you give the man the milk and he's going to not buy the cow. Oh, Listen, yeah. <laughs> you cannot give the man the milk, but he still ain't going to buy the cow. Yeah. Because it's a whole different thing now. Yeah. You know, I... I, I say to to women, you know, that's just old stuff. Yeah. You've got to show good sexual management. You have to display virtue. Yes. But, you know, a man's n not going to marry you because you said no. Yes. And you said, um, you know, celibate or whatever you said. Yes. You have to now bring more bandwidth. Mm. A man has to see you as an asset to him and yeah. his life. Yeah. Emotionally. Yeah. Spiritually. Yes. Mentally. I have to create a space for a man where he feels like a king. Mm. I have to create an emotional space where there's, I mean, he has to bring it too, but these things, women are learning in my master classes and they're thinking, oh my God, I could have done that. Mm. I just didn't know I could. And that's where I feel there's a, I was talking to, to, to this guy and I said, you know, I know men think women don't want to. Many women don't even know they have to, mm. and many don't even know how to. Sure. If I said to a, to a woman, the average woman, you know, I want you to build emotional attraction with a man. Mm. She wants to, but she doesn't know how. She doesn't know how. That's so true. Because all she has is these kind of feminist teachings. I'm yes. not anti-feminist, by the way, but I am not feminist. Yes. I don't identify as feminist. Yeah, yeah. But I'm, I understand the good things the good that is i'm not keen on this current version of feminism because yes. i happen to love men you mm. see so it it, can't, it doesn't work <laughs> I, yes. I adore men i do so um and i've got a son yeah. you know but i adored men before i had a son oh, yeah, <laughs> because <laughs> also I, I have to be honest that even though i've suffered greatly at the hands of men i have been loved greatly at the hands of men sure yeah we don't right? it's so true yeah men have loved yeah. me yeah. I have been loved and protected and cherished and given to and and loved on by men. Yeah. So well. Yeah. yeah. Right? I've been ghosted too. I've been but I I think that for me my experience with men is the net experience of it is really good. Mm, yeah. You know. And it, and it's it's so interesting. You're so right in terms of back in the day for the woman to get the ring, get the commitment, the things she had to offer were things that she was born with. Yes. It was, oh, the chastity, the yes. purity, the the sex, the intimacy. Yes. Like that's something you are born with. Yes. You don't have to work to be able to give sex, to yes. be able to be a virgin, whatever yes. it is. Whereas now it's like, like you said, because it is free, it's kind of like, okay, the things that, now almost you have to offer for a man, at least a good man who's on his, you know, all, got his stuff together, high value guy, for him to go, I accept this offer. It's things that now you have to work on. You have to work on knowing how to attract him emotionally. You have to know how to bring value outside of sex. And I think, I think that's, and maybe this is, it's not their fault. No. In terms of today, because men, we see very clearly what we have to be able to offer. Yes. Whereas I think for a lot of women, they not only are they told that the old way still works. Yeah. But also, I think they're misled by a lot of narrative that it sounds bad. Not that they don't have to offer anything, but like the rest of we hear is, I, I am the prize. I am the table. <laughs> yeah. And when it comes to who's the prize, et cetera, my theory is that, you know, men, women are the prize, but yeah. men are number one. Yeah. Um, in that sense, because. You well, know, you have to be a champion to get a prize. Exactly. That's you have to be number one. To get the prize. To get a prize. Yes. And what I say with the prize thing is not every woman is a prize. Mm. Now people don't like it. Sure. And not every man is a champion. Very true. Right? Because to be a prize, you have to be elevated. Mm. Your quality as your, the way you think, the quality of your thought, the yeah. quality of your emotional world, yes. the, the ability to, you know, um, 
to self-regulate as a woman rather than just let your feelings in your mouth your, there's no filter on your mouth there's no there's no way of regulating your emotions you're just a wild card basically mm, yeah you have to be so elevated a prize is elevated mm. you know and and a champion works hard yeah right so if you're not elevating yourself as a woman if you're okay as you are mm. and you know that's fine but you're not going to meet a champion and you don't have the right to say i am the table mm. and you don't have the right to say you're a prize mm. and prizes are not prizes because people think they're prizes the academy has to decide that oscar is it the oscars in the academy yes yeah <laughs> the academy says this is the prize yes the 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 ele the, the the gold medal is is determined by the olympic board yes. right you don't get to select yourself as a prize it's when men say you are a prize yeah and same thing for for, for in man. reverse yes very you know true. if women in general say wow you, you are a champion yeah then you are a champion yes. not because you said so yes right i'm not a prize because i said so yeah i'm a prize when men say to me geez mm. bloody hell yeah woman yeah. I'm a prize when men just want to put a ring on it all the time. Yes. Every guy I've dated, other than the last one, was very short-winded, have wanted to marry me, have wanted to commit. Mm. That's a prize. Yeah. The kind of woman that I can't let you go. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. If that's happening to you often. Yes. You're a prize. Yeah. Yeah. If very true. women yeah. are wanting to hold on to you, high mm. quality women are wanting to hold on to you mm. and they, they just can't believe they're like, you're a champion. Mm. The problem is we live in a culture where we can call ourselves stuff. Yes. You know, I'm a queen. Yeah. I'm a this. We can crown ourselves. We can do all these things. Yes. And it, it gets to our head, but it doesn't work that way for every, you know, the queen of England is not the queen. Of, she didn't just decide, well, I keep referring to the queen. God rest her soul. Yeah, God rest her soul. <laughs> The but king of England yes. didn't wake up and say, I'm a king. Mm. Th this is prescribed. There's a prescribed way to, to, be to become king. a king. Yeah. There's a, you know, to be a champion, there's a prescribed way. We know every champion pays a price. Very, We know very he goes true. above and beyond. Very we know true. that. It's prescribed. It's yes. not, I'm a champion. So I think it's also modern day culture where, you know, men call themselves kings and women call mm. themselves queens. On what basis? On what basis? So, so true. It's like the person, the person who is the richest in the room doesn't go around telling people that they're rich. Thank you. They don't need to. Thank you. Because <laughs> everybody will validate that for them. <laughs> exactly. Anyone who's a stranger be like, oh, you know, so, so, oh yeah, yeah they're this yeah. person. And there's a bank account to prove it too. So I'm seeing. Right? It's so true. <laughs> Hope you really enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full episode where that clip is from, then we need to click right here where you can watch the full episode. And if you're ready to claim your man today, enroll in my program below and I'll see you there. Wishing you an amazing day.